What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 24 of WCW 1992. I am Swarles, and we are real close to it not being 1992 anymore. We are four days out from Starcade. We got a Saturday night taping, we got a main event taping, and then it is finally time after months. See, feels like years. I mean, I guess it's been one year in game time, but after what feels like years of building to the Sting and Dustin Rhodes match, we're going to get it. All right. It still wants us to run the Omni every single week. That is funny, even with all those venues we added. Uh, Diamond Stud and Stan Hansen. That's just got to be wrestler's court. Yep, our late pickup as partner is is fine. Small positive. Uh, ooh, Dusty Rhodes wants to put over Cactus Jack, which would actually be huge for us. I'm I'm gonna write this down. Uh, I'm gonna write this down in my notes actually. This might change future booking. Because they are on opposite sides of the heel face right now. And that would be huge for Cactus. That actually might have just changed the Clash of the Champions 22 match, actually. Jack at Starcade. Jack is wrestling Lord Steven Regal. Starcade. I think that's one of the few matches we have to still like officially announce uh, at the taping today. Let's run somewhere else. I didn't. I didn't add all these venues in for no reason, bro. Uh, thinks we could draw like fifteen k. Let's go to Coleman Coliseum in Tuscaloosa, baby. All right, let's go. This is our go-home show for Starcade. Uh, last week, on Saturday night, we had a United States title match, which saw Big Van Vader retain over Barry Windham. And then Ken Shamrock showed up and uh, stopped Hanson and Vader from killing everybody. And then we smartly had Ken Shamrock cut the promo on uh, main event because it bombed. Uh, we did a big old eight-man tag with Severin, Bam Bam, and the Signers taking on Rick Rude, Tully, Mike Awesome, and Ron Simmons. What can we draw for Starcade? We've been doing like 40k, but I, if Starcade is set as like our big show by default, which I didn't do, but it should have been that by default. So yeah, we might get like 60k, which would be nuts. Uh, Hollywood Blondes beat another tag team. Uh, Liger, Steamboat, and Ultimo beat these guys. They they announced their no time limit match. Uh, good alliance beat some guys and they got beaten up. All right, so we got some stuff. We got some stuff to announce, which is where we're gonna start things. We're gonna start things with Arn, Larry Z, beautiful Bobby, who will not talk. And he's basically just gonna be like, you know, Dusty Rhodes, you keep sticking your nose in my business. You turned on us in the War Games match. Now you're attacking me. I've had it with you. You come out here and face me like a man. And then Dusty is going to come out with Raven and Sabu and Perry to give himself, a, you know, the numbers advantage. And, uh, you know, long story short, they're going to do a, a long back and forth here. And then Dusty is going to be like, well, listen, if you want, if you want to get your hands on me at Star K, baby, we can do that. But it's going to be my stipulation and my stipulation is a bunk house match. 3v3, baby. Me and me and two of my boys here. Taking on you three. Rob, what's up? Promo setting up. Good alliance. Versus nightmares. Bunk house match. At Starcade. Alright. 
What else? Oh, I also wanted to do an angle. I wanted to do like Vader, Stan Hansen, like a contract signing situation. But Ken will be there since he is going to be the official. Oh, we probably have to rate Ken, which sucks because he's going to like kill this. Um, yeah, we're also going to script everyone too. Uh, basically what this is going to be, is going to be a contract signing and Vader and Stan Hansen are like constantly trying to like get in each other's face and come to blows, but Shamrock's able to tame him. Shamrock is, uh, you know, he's able to, he, he doesn't back down from these guys. They try to like push him off to, so they can get to each other. He, he stands in their way and, and we get a relatively normal contract signing without things coming to blow. And then, you know, you're going to have Shivani on and Callus on commentary being like, I can't believe this. Look at this law and order. Shamrock is able to guide Hanson and Vader through a normal ass contract signing. Okay, great. And then I would say, oh, we also really, we also haven't really announced Rick Rude and Dan Severin, I don't think. Which is happening. <laughs> Which, FYI, is happening. Uh, so we're going to do Rick Rude, Tully, Paulie cutting a promo. Uh, they lost that match last week, right? Let me double check that. Let me, let, let, let me, let me double check that. Yes, they lost that big dumb 8-man tag. Okay, great. So Paulie, Rick Rude, Tully, gonna be cutting a promo. Uh, basically going to be like, uh, you know, Tully's gonna be like, oh, I thought beating Dan Severn would be easy, but uh, he sure didn't do it in that eight-man tag last week. And then Rick Rude's gonna be like, yeah, that's because I was teaming with you. And they're going to get in each other's faces, and Paulie's going to be like, oh, hey, hey, you guys, oh, guys, come on, come on, listen. Think, things are a little rough for Dangerous Alliance right now, but uh, we'll, we'll get back on our feet. We, we always find a way to get back on top. And then Tully's going to be like, you know what? Rick, Rick's been talking a lot about how, how I did so bad against Dan Severn, and he would, uh, he would beat him no problem. So I went to the WCW board. The match is booked. Starcade. Show me how easy it is, Rick. Go in there and beat Dan Severn. Go, prove it to me, bi big guy. Show me how easy it is. Then Rick Rude's going to be like, no problem. Tully went to the WCW board to book Rude versus Severn. Rue. Bobby Rue. All right, let's actually book a match. Crazy, I know. We're going to do Brian Pillman and Steve Austin. Oh, who else could they beat? I feel like I've had them beat a lot of teams already. How about the amazing team? <laughs> oh, a tier one sub from Let's Play TEW. Oh, a gifted sub from Let's Play TEW. Thank you, Nick, for giving out the subs. Appreciate it. Uh, let's do... Let's do the, the wonderful team of Scott Norton. And his friend. Alright. This this is kind of wild. But like. What if Scott Norton and Ultimo Dragon had a chemistry? That'd be nuts. So let's try it. Weirder things have happened. Eight minutes. Brian Pillman is going to win. And then we are going to do an angle after this. 
where Pillman and Austin are going to get on the mic and be like, you know, enough game, Steiners. You want us to beat matches? That's three weeks in a row. Stop running from us. Stop hiding. And then the Steiners are going to come out. And they're going to be like, hey, man, deal's a deal. You, you keep beating these teams. You look like you're, uh, you're, you're really hitting as a tag team. Think you're going to be great challengers for Starcade. And then they're going to go to shake their hands. And then Pillman and Austin are going to like slap the hands away and be like, we'll see you on Sunday. Pretty straightforward angle here. Uh, I guess I'm not going to script anybody. Steiners response is official for Starcade. All right, let's book a main event. Main event's probably going to be like a big old, big old tag team boy tag match. Let's see, we're going to do. I mean, you got to get Dustin and Sting in there. Uh, we haven't done anything with Liger and Steamboat, but that one's kind of weird because they're faces. Although I could team them with Sting. Although then we'd probably have to do, like, Dustin's guys on the other side, and that's not as good of a main event. Although it'd be fine. Uh, we have Cactus and Regal also. We have Bam Bam and Simmons, although they were in the bad tag match. We can, we can definitely put Cactus and Regal in here. Uh... I really like the idea of Sting, uh, Ricky Steamboat, and Jushin Thunder Liger on one team. That rocks. Did you see the new Julia report on Twitter? Uh, yeah, that she she was stiff, brother. I, whatever. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's actually a problem. And they're going to take on Dustin. I guess it would be Sabu. Sabu is getting this. Sabu is really over in the Great Lakes. Uh, Sabu Raven, I guess, would be the team. Because Perry's. Yeah, I guess it would be Sabu Raven. Thank you, Raven, for uh, being here to get pinned. You know what? Let's, uh... I mean, it's 1992. Let's go nuts. Let's have Raven... All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have Dusty attack Sting... But then to counterbalance it, we will have Arn Anderson attack Raven, who gets pinned. So that's what we're going to put in. In my head, it's more like Dusty tries to interfere and then Arn stops him. But we'll just put it in as two interferences. Um, this should probably be the storytelling match, but I also... It's going to be the main event, and I think this match needs all the help it's going to get. So I think we're just going to leave it at 16 minutes open. Uh, Sabu's recognizable. He's like borderline over. Let us do. Let's see. We still have Cactus Regal. We still have Bam Bam Simmons. Oh, we got the fucking band and the Cowboys. Cactus Jack loves rock and roll. I've always heard that about him. And I love Regal with the Cowboys. Fuck, that's good. All right. <laughs> Cactus Jack. <laughs> Teaming with Barry Windham and Chris Jericho. 
to take on Eddie Guerrero, Mike Barton, and Lord Steven Regal. Twelve minutes. This definitely gets the storytelling. And then I am going to have Regal cheat again. We're going to do a tainted win. And then I said that's storytelling, right? It did, great. And then we're just going to have Cactus snap after the match. I mean, let's just have all these guys brawl, because they're all going to be fighting each other. Jericho. Wyndham. Then I also had Eddie and Mike. Barton. Fighting, 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 fighting. Go like three minutes. Cactus snaps. Huge brawl. Okay. How much time do we have? Oh, not much. We have like 16 minutes. Okay. Uh, let's do... The thing is, I kind of just want to add more angles, but we, we, we definitely need one more match. But I definitely want to do... I definitely want to do Sting... Sting, Steamboat, Jushin Liger, like, baby face. Like, tonight, you know, I know you guys are wrestling each other at Starcade, but you're gonna, you know, but you guys are good friends and great competitors. You're friends of mine, and you're gonna put your differences aside, and tonight we're gonna take on Dustin Rhodes, like, that kind of thing. Baby face, team, hypes, main event... Four minutes. Then we have like 12 more minutes. Who haven't I booked? Oh, I haven't done anything with Bam Bam and Simmons. Who are definitely wrestling. What have I really done with them since the pay-per-view? I feel like they've kind of just been like being in matches and shit. Yeah, they had a good match. Oh, he was supposed to be, like, going after Teddy Long, and then I feel like I kind of just forgot about that. Yeah, last week they were just in an eight-man tag. Alright, let's do... Ron Simmons is gonna beat a face. This looks like a job for the Z-Man. You guys work together uh like two months ago we just did this okay this looks like a job uh, it's the italian stallion sure man this is a much shorter match now great six minutes Let's have Ron. Hmm. This doesn't really work for the story I want to do, actually. Let's not do the Italian stallion. Let's do... I got to give him someone a little better. Sorry. No, no. Uh, I mean, some offense to the Italian stallion. Let's do Johnny B. Bad. Which I don't think I've done. No, I haven't. Great. All right. Moving this back up to like 10 minutes. We're going to do Ron Simmons with uh, a distraction finish from the manager. Uh, 
Oh, we're right at 85. Well, we have, we have time. For, we got enough time for Bam Bam to run out and, like, yell at the referee and be like, Teddy Long, Teddy Long distracted him. How'd you miss that? How'd you miss that? And then Bam Bam's going to be like, you know, Ron Simmons, you, you, Teddy Long's getting all your wins for you. You're, you're not a man. <laughs> you're, you're, uh, you can't win on your own. I want you at Starcade one-on-one, -on -one, just me and you. And you'll accept that challenge unless you're a chicken. I love 1992. It was, things are so much easier back then. I want to fight you. You're a coward. That's it. Bam Bam goes off on Teddy Long. Wants Ron. 1v1. You know, I'm fine with Ron Simmons and Johnny B. Bad opening. That sounds good. And then right to the babyface team hyping the main event? Sure. Uh huh. Okay. I, this so far the order of this is kind of fine. Cactus snaps, Hollywood blondes versus uh huh. Sanders wants is official. Sure. Totally went to the board. Promo setting up. GA and Buckhouse Ross Arcade. Okay, we're a little promo heavy at the end, but other than that, this is in a pretty good order. Uh, let's actually open with one of these promos. Let's open with this Dusty and Arn promo. And let's move. Eh. Well, this is kind of fine too. Let's. Yeah, let's leave it how it is. Uh, I think this is a pretty good show, but not like a great show or anything. So I'm gonna say like an 84. Ninety-one. Okay, good. Good opening. Larry Z underperformed. Didn't didn't really matter that much. He only brought us down like three or four points. A seventy-five on Ron Simmons and Johnny B. Bad. That is way better than I thought it would be. Ron's kind of hot right now, so I guess that helps. Johnny B. Bad is not though, so I thought he would hurt this. And then we got an 80 for Bam Bam talking, which is still ridiculous. I'm still going to allow it, but it's still ridiculous. Uh, 78. Okay. Uh, I guess I only gave this three or four minutes. I still thought it would do better, but that's fine. Sixty six on this. That that checks out. This, uh, this Cowboys versus, uh, the band thing is basically getting a mercy killing at Starcade. <laughs> it is just not, you know, it's time to put it out of its misery. Then a 55 for these guys fighting. Sure. Everything lost heat. Great. A 79 for this, like, nothing tag match is great. Uh, didn't didn't get the uh, tag bonus I was hoping for for Scott and Ultimo, which would have been nuts, but that's fine. Then an 82 for this, which is good. Got some people struggled going off script. Brian usually crushes going off script, so that's just a bad roll, I guess. Actually, now that I think about this, an 82 for this isn't really great because Pillman and Austin usually get, like, 95s. So, actually, the Steiners and Magnum kind of tank this a little bit, but that's okay. 89 for these guys. That also seems a little low. They're usually in the 90s. 93 76. We knew this would be down a little bit because Shamrock was out there. But, you know, we're telling stories, bro. We're telling stories. Had to have them out there. Yeah, 81 on the main is about what I expected. Because 
we got some god tier talent in there, but also we have like 1992 Raven to as like the obvious pin eater. So yeah, fun match though. 83. Almost exactly what I guessed. Very close. So was that Victor Zangief guy? Uh, did he base his character off the Street Fighter game or is it the other way around did they steal that guy's thing uh george south thinks chris jericho is money all right thank you george i'm glad to see kung fu is back at 100 percent hate you hate seeing the martial arts at a all-time low The Harang Junior Auditorium, sure. That sounds that sounds like a middle school gym, but sure. We'll run there. George South is a road agent. <laughs> Why else would he be sending opinions? Alright, this is uh this show airs in like the evening and then our pay-per-view is at night. Like I think this show is at like six o'clock Sunday. So this is really just going to be like, hey, 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 Starcade, hey, go buy it, hey, hey, please. So, like, everyone that's involved in a big match is going to get a promo. So we're going to do Dustin, Jesse, Dusty, talking about Sting. Uh, just these guys, you know. Dusty's like, you know, my boy's gonna be the youngest world's champion. This is this is what he's been preparing his whole life for. You know, people think he's only 24 years old, but he's, you know, I I bred him to be a champion. He's got 24 years experience at 24 years old. And then Ventura's gonna be like, you know, that's right, Dusty. I, you know, you and your son had a rift, but I. I knew I could bring the two of you back together and that all of our powers combined. There's no way. There's no way Dustin's not the world champion at the end of Starcade. And then Dustin's going to be like, I'm also here. <laughs> it's my two dads. Nightmares. A hype main event for Starcade. I guess Dusty should also talk about Arn Anderson. We'll kill two birds with one stone here. And then we will let Sting do the same. Sting is going to talk about Dustin Rhodes. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, he, you know, D Dusty said he was, uh, you know, bred to do this and uh, 24 years of experience. But it sounds like to him, he's got a silver spoon in his mouth. Uh, Vader, Hanson. I don't think we really need those guys cutting promos. Um, I would have to bring up Spotify, but I'm pretty sure this is the oil, whatever it's called. Oil Ocean Zone. Yeah, it's that one. Fun level. Uh, oh, you know, I think Cactus has to cut a promo. Because I, I, we really didn't even say that was happening. They just fought. So this is just going to be Cactus. You know, Lord Steven, you're making me look stupid. No one makes me look stupid. Cactus is tired of Lord Steven making... Stupid. Bang, bang. 
I'm just letting everyone cook. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else wants to cook? Anyone want to cook? Anyone? Oh, let's do Ron. Ron and Teddy. Talking about Bam Bam. This is basically going to be Teddy Long being like, Bam Bam Bigelow, you think we're stupid? You think we're going to accept your stipulation of me not being able to come to the ringside? You, you know... You must think I'm some kind of idiot. And then Ron's going to be like, now hold on, Teddy. And he's going to be like, what? What's up? <laughs> he's going to be like, you don't... You you, you don't think I need you to beat him, do you? He's going to be like, no, no, what? no, of course not. But why Why would you not take the extra help? I mean, come on. I mean, that's why we're working together. And Ron's going to be like, I think I can do it. He's going to be like, Ron. Ron. Th this is what he wants, Ron. And he's gonna be like, yeah, what's gonna be more embarrassing than hit me giving him what he wants and still winning? And Teddy's gonna be like, Ron, I'm begging you. He's gonna be like, Teddy, don't you go out there. It's gonna be me and Bam Bam one on one. And I'm gonna prove to him that I don't need anybody's help. I'm a world class athlete. I went to FSU. <laughs> Look at him. He's just some big fat guy. I can take him. All right, I guess at this point we have to do some kind of match at this point. Uh, we can't literally get away with just doing go-home promos, although, boy, it's tempting. Um, who's who's not on Starcade? Do you know who's not on Starcade? Uh, Nikita Koloff. Who's also annoyed. He'd probably like to win a match. Hey, did we try Nikita Koloff and Scott Norton as a tag team? I don't know that we did. Although maybe we did. I don't remember. Uh, anyway, you guys are going to wrestle uh, Tommy Rich. Richard Morton. What a match. Let you guys cook. Koloff's going over. That's a match. Uh, let's do... Let's maybe do an Eddie Guerrero singles match, right? Because he's going to be doing that big dumb tag match on Sunday. Really, he's really beating all these baby faces, huh? Who's local? I haven't looked at local in a long time. Although we're always in the southeast, so I can't imagine it's anyone different. Yeah, it's all it's all the same fucking guys. Billy Billy Gunn. Billy Kidman's here. Billy Kidman's got potential. He's not over at all, which makes sense. Oh, we booked him once. <laughs> but uh, what did we do when we booked him? I don't remember. Buck Quartermain, of course. Legendary jobber. How's Scotty? Oof. Oof. Wolfie D is here. Wolfie D, we've also hired a couple of times, which is funny. Uh, Vampire Warrior, banging and banging. Um, let's try Kidman. Although I'm, if we if we literally did Kidman and uh, Eddie the last time we booked him, I'm gonna be so mad. No. Okay, great. That would have been nuts. Hey, he's just gonna win. 
Yes, I am aware that the title's on the line. Thank you. Um, and then we do like one more match, and that's probably about it. Who else we got? Who else we got? Anyone else? Just kind of chilling right now. Mike Awesome is not... Tully really isn't booked for the show. Uh, I mean, you know, not to, not to give anything away, but we're probably going to be... He's pretty, he'll probably be involved. Uh, Mike Awesome. Mike Awesome is unimportant. That sucks. Damn, sounds like him and Tully are having a match. Get Z Man and Johnny B. Bad. Big Johnny B. Bad week. One one of the matches of all time. That's that is an episode of main event. We're gonna end with a sting promo. And we're gonna open with a nightmares promo. So you really know what this show is about. Yep, that's fine. The thing about this show is this is going to get like a 75 because these promos are going to be great. <laughs> but like, even though the matches are just total dog water. Uh, no, 69. No, this is no way. This is going to get like a 75. 75. See? 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 Uh, 55, Billy Kimlin got a 29. Woof. <laughs> All right. You know what? Maybe we'll sign Billy to developmental, but even then, I mean, 29 is rough. But, you know, we do have that now. It is an option. He's certainly not ready for TV. 71 for this promo. That's fine. 54 in the match. Uh, we are never going to find a partner for Nikita Koloff. But at least he got a win. Cactus promo. Thought this would do better. Sixty-five on the match. That checks out. And a ninety-nine promo on the, for the Stanger. Okay. Yeah, seventy-six. <laughs> Great episode of main event. Damn, these are some brutal Ricky Fuji stats. God damn. Uh, I need to check something. Well, currently heal. He has no reason turns. There is no. He is one hundred percent a heal. That means he like can't be a baby face, right? Oh, I already have Rick Rude preparing to turn? Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. Okay. Did I do that off camera, not tell anybody, and then forget about it? That sounds like me. Alright. Well, I've been booking this backwards, because Rick Rude has been being a heel. But, uh, well. <laughs> there you go, folks. Damn, Rude's over. All right, well, we are now two whole days away from Starcade. Oh, 
fucking goddamn. <laughs> All right, two months. Two months. I think I can do what I want with him in two months. I think I can do that. I think I can do that. I think we can make this work. This is another thing I have to make a note of. Shamrock. Taking MMA fight in two months. So that would be week three, February. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. If I keep saying it's fine, it'll be fine. Uh, 1,100 fans. All right, cool. You know what? Let's, uh... Let's give Billy Kidman that developmental contract. Why not? Bro, a block. End of the line. Bro, Roadblock has better stats than Ricky Fuji. That's nuts. Alright. 0.65, sure. Here we go, folks. Ooh, they have us at the Liberty Bowl. Although, isn't that an outdoor venue? That seems crazy. All right, let's see. What do they think we could draw? 60,000. Holy smokes. Okay. I feel like we could run the Georgia Dome. The Georgia Dome should be open, right? Let's do like 40 to 70. Let's see what we got. It's literally only the Liberty Bowl. I guess the Georgia Dome is not open. Yeah, I, we can't do an outdoor stadium. That's... It's fucking December, man. Well, we gotta go somewhere else, then. Let's... Let's do Mid-South. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of... We got a lot of football stadiums in Texas, brother. Uh... Bro, we could run the fucking Astrodome. 67,000, we can draw 63. That's fucking nuts. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Astrodome. Let's do it. Georgia Dome 100% existed. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm surprised it's not there. Georgia Dome opened for the 1992 NFL season. So it should definitely be there. I'm, I'm thinking maybe something has gone weird with the, the dates. Maybe importing it didn't... I don't know, it didn't come in in time, or maybe he has the slightly wrong date in. He has it opening in 93. I don't know. Oh, we still have incidents. Dustin Rhodes no-showed. Uh, okay, a ref. What's up, ref? Uh, good. Car brought a karaoke machine, which in 1992 is nuts. People are like, what the fuck is this? And then, like, Stan Hansen is like, oh, I know these, brother. <laughs> Where'd you get one of these? Oh, what are these two? Dusty Rhodes brought for wrestler's court. It's crazy that Stan is bringing Dusty to wrestler's court. Uh, small positive. All right, great. All right, let's book this thing. Add match. 20 minutes. WCW World Heavyweight title. In the Astrodome. As Sting. 
takes on Dustin Rhodes. Hmm, let's see. What do we think, chat? Clean finish or or do we do we do a do we <laughs> do we do a fucky wucky? What are we doing? I mean Dustin's definitely winning. We have that for sure. Like, I kind of don't want to do an interference finish on my biggest show of the year. But also, it's kind of weird to end your biggest show of the year with, like, the heel has cleanly won the title. Gotta protect Sting. But, like, it's WrestleMania. You get what I'm saying? Like, Star Starcade's our big show. I mean, let's start, let's start with a 20-minute clean win and see if he'll even do it. Although, honestly, he probably will, because Dustin is over. Oh, Sting's really over, though. Holy shit, Sting is over. Oh, he'll do it. Okay, Sting will do it. Hmm. Dusty finish. Nah, but again, like, if this was Clash of the Champions or whatever, I'd be like, yeah, Dusty finish. But for Starcade... Can Jesse be on commentary? Yeah, we could do that. Unless we need him for the finish. No, we... Brother, we have already been doing the Dustin Rhodes is gonna win the title thing for like eight months. We don't need to stretch it out anymore. Three ref finish. Uh, we went... For later, unanimously, majority of the split decision, double pin. Battle Royal, yeah. Now listen, but that's why we're drawing 62,000 or whatever, and they were drawing what they drew, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let's do... I'm trying to think of a finish involving Dusty and Jesse that isn't just like, you know, same old, same old interference shit. Um, maybe like Scorpion Deathlock, Dustin like grabs the ropes, but yells like, I quit, I quit. Sting gets up. He thinks he's won. Referee's trying to tell him like, no, you didn't win. Dustin bulldogs him from behind, hits him one, two, three. He's the champion. Uh, although, again, there's not really a thing in the game to call that. Uh, so it's probably just going to go in as a clean finish. I guess it could be like a... I guess it could be a tainted... Let's call it a tainted win for Dustin Rhodes. I, let's just keep it simple. He has an excuse for the loss as his opponent cheated to win. Um... I mean, he didn't really cheat, but it, it would be an excuse for the loss, which is what we're going for. So let's call it a let's call it tainted. Let's call it a tainted finish, and Dustin Rhodes is the WCW champion. And then we're going to do an angle afterwards. 
with Dustin and Dusty and Ventura. And they're all celebrating. You know, they're... Dusty's got the belt. He's hugging his son. Ventura's holding the belt up. He, they put it around Dustin's waist. Meanwhile, we see like Sting on the outside going to the ref, going like he he gave up. He gave up. I heard him give up. The ref's like, no, no, he had the ropes. He had the ropes. It was a rope break. It was like five minutes. Dustin celebrates as Sting argues with ref. All right. Vader and Hanson. WCW United States Heavyweight title. Uh, this this is one we have an exact uh, exact finish for. So in my head, this is what happens. They have their 10-minute wild brawl like they've been doing. Vader, you know, it's getting down to the finish. Vader hits like a Vader bomb or, or some other move that he always wins with. One, two, Hanson kicks out. Vader is like irate. He's like, that's a three, that's a three. He starts like pushing Shamrock around and stuff. Shamrock holds up the ref shirt like, hey man, don't, don't, I'm the ref. Watch it. And then he's, you know, he's going to shove him. Shamrock's gonna like shove him back you know Vader's gonna then go to like club him with one of his big blows and then Shamrock bam bam hits him with a one two staggers Vader Vader's like turns around Lariat Stan Hansen pins him wins the title so we're going to call this I guess a screwy ref finish or whatever that was called screwy referee finish Uh, I'm also going to do, again, because I'm afraid putting Shamrock as the referee is going to, like, fuck us. I'm going to put in... Replacement referee, Ken Shamrock. Also, yes, let's put Ventura on commentary here. Uh, Don Callis. Buzz off. The big boys are here. Alright, next thing I have is the tag title match. And honestly, it probably should be the tag title match. Considering how good those teams have been so far. Or how good Pillman and Austin have been, specifically. So this is going to be for both titles. And we are going to go... I think we're going to go storytelling on this one. Well... No, let's, let's just do regular on this one. Uh, do, 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 do. I mean, I gotta tell you guys, this is this is the first of three matches these teams are gonna have, if we're, if we're being honest here. So I don't think we do the Blondes tag title win yet. I think this one, we just do... Winner of the match, Scott Steiner. I mean, although, we, I, hopefully Pillman will do that. He's very over. Yeah, he actually, he might not put these guys over. He might not put these guys over. Let's see. No, he's cool. All right. And then we're going to do an angle after that. Where the Steiners are going to go to shake their hands just like they did before this. And they are going to get sucker punched by Pillman and Austin. Code of Honor not, not upheld. Blonde sucker punch Steiners during handshake. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, next, I have Liger Steamboat TV title. That might open the show, although we'll see. But we're going to put it in. And like I said, we're, we're going to build this up like it's going to go forever. It's not. It's going to go 33 minutes. <laughs> we're going to do Jushin Thunder Liger. Ricky the Dragon. I think Steamboat just has to win this, if we're being honest. Um, I don't think there's any shame in Liger San losing. So we'll do open. Gonna let him call it in the ring again. Uh, which I... Can I call both these at the same time? Does it, I don't know, whatever. Steve that's gonna win. And you know what, th this will be good because the, having, we'll, we'll set up the sucker, the sucker punch will mean more if we have Steamboat and Liger uh, earnestly shaking hands right uh, earlier in the show, you know? That'll be good. Liger, Steamboat, shake hands. Because then we could have the commentators being like, wow, we, we've really seen some great sportsmanship tonight from these, oh, they punched them all. Oh. Oh my god! Uh, Rick Rude and Dan Severn? Uh, this is going to be the storytelling match. And then we are going to have Dan Severn has to win this match. He has to. I mean, it's with interference from Tully, who's going to turn on Rick Root here, but he has to. Hopefully Rick Root is okay with that. How over is Dan? Eh. Rick Root is very unhappy. All right. Let's, let's go to the old reliable. Old reliable. Hey, Rick, what's up, brother? How would you like to put over Dan Severn? Fuck yes, let's go. Old Reliable. And then afterwards, we are going to turn Rick Rude by having Tully and Paul Heyman lay him out. And then Dan Severn will, like, save him, I guess. I guess that's what we'll do. So we'll do like fighting, poly not rated, selling, fighting. For like three minutes. <laughs> Nick, we literally did this for you on AEW. You can't be that mad. And we are going to turn Rick Rude. I can't believe I had Rick Rude said to turn for like 14 weeks and just forgot about it. Holy lays out rude. Severn saves rude. Face turn. <laughs> but I'm me, and this isn't me. Uh, Cactus and Regal. Give them 12. One day I will type Steve Regal the first try and not William Regal. Hmm. Do I give these guys wild brawl? No, I think we just go regular match. I, I, they're not going to be able to outdo the other wild brawls on the show. So Cactus, Cactus is just going to win this. That's that's all. Uh, for example, Bam Bam and Simmons. That's going to have to be a wild brawl. Uh, 
Uh, Bayman has got to win this, right? Otherwise, he looks like a big goofus. Oh, I'm going to have to, like, rebook a lot of what I'm doing for Clash, I think, which is unfortunate for me, but that's still not for a while. But anyway, let's give Bam Bam the win here. He was right. Oh, we are already at 144. Okay. And we still have two matches, but they're both big multi-mans, so we might have to... Might have to do some stuff. Uh, what the hell is Gangsta's Paradise? Roll inside a steel cage filled with weapons. No, okay, not quite. Um, I think we just want a street fight for the bunkhouse brawl. We don't have to get too crazy here. So this will be Dusty. Sabu and Raven. Taking on Arn Anderson, Larry Z, and beautiful Bobby. How are you, how are you guys on brawling? You're, you're very good. You're not great. You are pretty good. Raven could be good, maybe. Sabu, weirdly not great at it. Although, I guess it kind of makes sense. He's more of, like, high-flying and hardcore, which is what he's rated as. And then Dusty was, is going to be... Well, Dusty's not that great at it either, really. Let's just do a 10-minute match. Um, You know, the funny thing about this is now that Dusty wants to put over Cactus, I kind of feel like he needs to win here if I'm doing Dusty and Cactus. But also, at the same time, like, Sabu and Raven are here to get pinned. Actually, you know what? Let's get fucking crazy. Can we have Sabu pin Bobby Eaton? Is that a thing we can do? Okay, well, the road agent can't be a competitor, but that, that we know. Uh, Tully, you lay this thing out. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. And then we have the war to settle the score. Band versus Cowboys. Do I even have five cowboys? I think I only have four, right? It's Barton. Yeah, it's Barton, it's the tag team, and it's Eddie. So it's a four-on-four -four match. What steps do we have? Elimination, Lethal Lockdown, Survivor Series, War Games. Okay, this, this is a regular-ass match. So we'll do, on this side, we'll do Barry. Too Cold. I'm just going to put the guys I want to get over. Chris Jericho. And then on this side, we will do Eddie, Mike Barton, uh, Steve Armstrong, and Tracy Smothers. After all this, it's going to end with a 10-minute, uh, like, second match on the card, eight-man tag. Uh... If I could, if I could, like, at least have Jericho win this, that would be sick. So let's try that. Let's do Jericho over, like, Steve Armstrong, because who cares? And let's Mercy kill this feud. Rock vs. Country, that's what it's called. Freaked out for a second there. Great. We have 10 minutes. So we can sneak like... I mean, we can put a lot more. But I like to... From my experience, it's good to keep it at 3 hours. Otherwise, the crowd starts getting a little restless. Uh, let's do... I have them. Who should, who should we hear from? Jesse opening promo. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking of having them, but we are also putting them at the end. So I don't. I was thinking maybe we could put someone else up here, but maybe we do just a. Let's uh. 
Is there anyone off the show? No, not really. Only Nakia Koloff. He is owner. That is a good point. Let's do... Let's just do Dustin. Basically the same thing we did on uh, main event. Dustin, Dusty, and Ventura. They're going to talk about Sting, and they're also going to talk about the bunkhouse match. Off screen, off screen. Six minutes. Nightmares. Hype their matches for tonight. Oh, I'm not rating anybody. That's good. Good call. Good call game. I should rate people on things. For true. Then who gets a four minute promo? I think Sting does right before his match. Okay, and then that's pretty much going to do it for the main card. We do have to book stuff uh, underneath. Uh, let's see, what do we actually want to open with? I think, I mean, we opened with the very long match last time, and I don't know if that's like the best thing to get the crowd popping. Although I also kind of don't know where else to put it. So, Liger and Steamboat. Well, after the opening promo. Then 4v4. 4v4 is the most second on the match card I've... Uh, second on the card match I've ever seen. 4v4, Enemies vs. Good Alliance, Bam Bam vs. Ron Simmons, Cactus vs. Regal, Rick Rude vs. Dan Severn, Turn Angle, Tag Title Match, Angle... Big Van Vader and Stan Hansen promo. Sting and Dustin Rhodes. End to show promo. TARDIS Mechanic, what's up? Now let's book some dark matches. Who all we got here? Uh, we can do Toy Man Battle Royal, easy. Easy. Candido in DDP in uh, Y'all are maybes Jerry Lynn in Garvin in Mags be bad Shamrock you're a ref Mike awesome Koloff Saturn yeah I guess Saturn's in PN News you're in Morton Norton Waltman Sergeant Buddy Lee Diamond Stud Italian Stallion Thomas Rich. Tully. Tully's on the show. We don't really need to put him here. Uh, let's go these three. Ultimo. Van Hammer. Z-Man. Toy Man Battle Royal. Is there anyone besides Cola? I mean, Mike Awesome could win, I guess, but... Uh... I'm not going to do a TV title shot because it's a dark match and our dark matches don't air anywhere. This is strictly a for the live crowd thing. No one is ever going to see this except for the 60,000 people in the Astrodome. 
So, Nikita Koloff, you can win. It's fine. Ironically, I think I might do a battle royal on the last main event of the year because I. Uh, that's a Sunday show, so it like, the TW week starts on Monday, right? So like Sunday should literally be New Year's Eve. So I was thinking about New Year's Eve just doing some dumb like, it's the New Year's Eve battle royal or some shit like that, and then maybe maybe that's the battle royal someone can win for a title, some kind of title shot. Anyway, this is Starcade from the Astrodome, which is nuts. Um, I don't know how we're going to do here. I mean, it's a lot. There's not a lot of talking, and our talking is good. We're mostly depending on our wrestling here. And I don't know if we're going to get the 87 to 89. I don't know. Because I don't, I don't know if Sting and Dustin Rhodes is going to pull us a 90. I hope so. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to play it conservative and say an 86 54 on the battle royal a lot of people were off their game a lot of people have stale gimmicks yeah that checks out wait what was i supposed to wait for did you add celebs what no <laughs> this is wcw brother we don't do that 91, all right, good start, good start. Getting the people excited. Crazy to think about what a WCW show would, in 1992 would look like in front of actually a big crowd, because as you guys have noticed, uh, WCW at the time was dog shit and terrible and couldn't draw anything. You know, they drew an 8K for their biggest show of the year. So, I, like, I can't even imagine this time period happening in the Astrodome. That's crazy. Oh, okay. This is what I thought would happen the first time. <laughs> I thought, like, these guys would get a 90, but the face face will drag it down to, like, an 84. Because the first time they got, like, a 77, and I would, like, wanted to cry. Uh, I guess the feud is just hot now. But yeah, Steamboat is now our TV champion. And he had some good, long matches with Jushin Thunder Liger. This, this is just booking for me, really. I don't think this would have, like, done great or anything at the time. Just, like, these two guys having a face-face, hey, let's have a good match feud, but uh, I liked it, so. Sometimes you gotta do stuff for yourself, you know? And then they shook hands. Crowd liked that less. I should have scripted them shaking hands. Steve, he went off script. You, I'm not shaking your hand, fuck you. 63. Mercifully, this feud is over. Hopefully, Jericho getting the pin in the feud ender will do something for him. But other than that, this was kind of a dud. Ooh, 80 on the bunkhouse stampede. Okay. So we got a 71. He was just as good as Beautiful Bobby. That's why I got to pin him. Seventy nine on Bam Bam and Ron Simmons. Ron was off his game. That's a shame. You know why he was off his game? No Teddy Long at ringside. Except I didn't actually set that, so he was definitely out there. But. Sh sh Cactus and Regal got an 80. Very strong undercard so far. An 88 for Rick Rude and Dan Severn. Let's go. Dan Severn held. Oh, I gave him the storytelling. I gave him the story. I was about to lose my mind. That Dan Severn held back at Starcade, but I was like, no, they, they told the story. They told the story. That's what I told them to do. That's what I told them to do. Turn 
Turn him, baby. Baby face Rick Rude. What a what a world. Look at look at these mustaches. Look at look at these two mustaches on these two ha these two lovable baby faces. Uh, tag title match got a seventy-eight. No one had psychology. Huh. Huh. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. You mean to tell me Brian Pillman is getting a 97 in-ring rating, but he doesn't have psychology? Damn, I this is I had a whole whole three match series set here. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. <laughs> uh I this is also just proof for everyone that thinks that, like, old wrestlers being like, these new guys don't have psychology is, like, a new thing. No, it's always been like that. People in 1992 would have been like, Brian Pillman, what, what is this? He's, him and, uh, you know, uh, I mean, the ultimate example that uh, Meltzer likes to talk about is Luthez used to say Harley Race was, like, working too hard and killing the business and stuff like that. Even even back then, you, you had people being like the Steiner brothers. There's no psychology. Just go steal a show. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what I gotta do. Just go do dumb shit. 79. Did they not like... Not enough selling. What the hell? <laughs> Why would you want them to sell? I'm I'm losing my mind. I thought maybe they didn't like the referee finish, but that was not in the notes. Selling commentary, low heat. They do not have low heat. What the fuck is What the fuck is this, this is bull <sighs> <sighs> Their first match got a 90, and they've just been going down since. I'm very annoyed. 97-96, they pulled a 70. What is this? <sighs> Wasn't enough selling. Sting cut a promo. Crowd like that. The main event's probably going to get like a 68 or some shit. All right, okay, all right. I'll stop being mad for like five seconds. Yeah, of course I did Wild Brawl. It was Vader and Stan Hansen. What else would you book them in? This did much better. I'm a, I'm a little disappointed none of our matches broke a 90. Considering all the building we've been doing. Okay, this is another one. Segment got penalized due to low heat. It doesn't have low heat. It has incredibly high heat. What are you talking about? Then we ended with an 87. Finish the show. 87. All right. So I feel like we, we were both right. I guess it's 86, and Daniel said 87 to 89. So it was... Basically right in that same ballpark. I mean, pretty happy with it overall, but I thought this could be the show that breaks a 90. I, I thought, you know, our top of the card matches have been built pretty well and for a long time. And they were all good matchups. But, uh, I don't know, we really got killed by that Hanson Vader shit. I don't understand that at all. Speech. Dustin, congratulations. Sting, thank you for putting him over. And then who else do we want to see? Who else? Who else? Rick Rude. Rick Rude, thank you for putting over Dan Severn. Dustin Rhodes is pleased. 
Sting is pleased. Recruit is pleased. I'm going to check these storylines and see what these this low heat that they're talking about cuz I don't I don't believe them. Uh this isn't this is an 88. <laughs> I don't know. Uh what was the other one? Uh, it was the Vader one, right? Oh, Vader one does have a 75. So that one is lower than I thought. But like, yeah, our main event one has an 88. So, I don't know. Is that that's low heat? No. Seems hot to me. Uh, oh, our TV deals are expiring. Oh, it's just the ITV one, which we can't get another one of. Uh, Starcade was watched by 9,000 people in Japan. And then he got 750,000 buys. Okay. Oi. Oi, ITV. Uh, you guys, uh, come on. Come on. We already went through this. I don't want to do it again. All right, so it is it is week four December. I mean, so we're now twenty two days away from Clash. I think we got to do some uh, some good old fashioned uh, notepad stuff here because I had some plans that I think I need to change. When is Kurt Hedding coming? Seven days. Okay, so he'll definitely be here for that. And DiBiase as well. Okay. Alright, let's go. Gotta be careful not to scroll down too far here. So, Clash 22. I was originally gonna do Dustin and Hennig against Sting and Cactus. But I think we're going to do C uh, Cactus and Dusty now. So I think that's going to change that. Steiner's and Hollywood Blondes for the tag titles is still on. Uh, Vader, Simmons, Rude, Tully. No, that's going to change because we, we we pulled the trigger on the Rude. I was going to do the Rude turn later, but we did it here. Steamboat Liger versus DiBiase Regal. That also has to change because Steamboat and Liger can't team together and Eddie light heavyweight title question mark. So honestly... Everything outside of the tag title match for this is out the window. Nope, watch out. Don't show Super Bowl. Don't show Super Bowl. Hey, you get down there. All right. So let's see here. We are probably, I mean, we're definitely doing Shamrock. Something with Shamrock and Vader. So I would say like... Shamrock... Maybe Shamrock, Severn, Rude. Versus Vader... Tully... Who would be the third guy on that team? Dangerous Alliance is kind of done now. Steve Austin has kind of gone off to the blondes. He's in that match. Oh, Mike Awesome. Duh. Awesome's still there. There you go. There's a match. I guess Stan Hansen could just defend the U.S. title against somebody now. Maybe that's what that'll the uh, the big battle royal will be on that uh, that I want to do for that New Year's Eve show. It'll be for a U.S. title shot. Oh, did any heels get a big win on the show? Not really. It was kind of babyface central. Uh... Yeah, Cactus. Bam Bam Simmons. Yeah, Bam Bam won that. I mean, these guys won. I mean, if we're doing Dusty Cactus, let's just put Dusty Cactus out here. Uh, let's 
let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's do it like this. Let's do... Dustin and Dusty versus Sting and Cactus Jack Kurt Hennig debut and attack Sting. That's what we'll do. Can Liger turn heal soon? I mean, he could... But also, like, here's the thing. We have no face challengers for Eddie Guerrero. Unless we just do him and Liger again. Which I'm not, like, against. But also, we just did it. So we gotta figure something out for that, too. Because the light heavyweight title scene is, like... I would like to give Sabu a light heavyweight title match. But with Eddie being the champion, it's a weird heel-heel match. So we do Dustin and Dusty versus Sting and Cactus. Uh, Liger, Steam. What can we do with Liger and Steamboat? Jericho just got a big pin. Um, I don't know if that actually helped him, but we could check. Jericho. No, it didn't help him at all. No. Also, I'm pretty sure he already lost his a light heavyweight title match to Eddie. I could be wrong about that, but... Uh, no, they haven't had a singles match. Yeah, I guess it would be Jericho. Which weirdly drags this feud out slightly longer. Eddie versus Jericho. Light heavyweight title. Is Eddie over at all? Uh, he should be, like, decently over. Yeah. Yeah. Recognizable. He's 48. He's a, he's a little bit over. Uh, so, uh, here's the thing with, like, Dustin and, uh, Dustin and Sting. Here's, I don't want to, like, give away everything I'm doing, but let's do some, like, long-term plans. I don't think Dustin is our long-term world champion. So, what I want to do is give him, like, a defense at Super Brawl. In fact, let me look at our events here. Super Brawl would be week... Oh, Super Brawl is not till week... Oh, week 3 February. Okay, okay. For a second, I thought I was living it as week 2 April, and I was like, fuck. So I'm thinking week 3 February, we would give him a defense. I'm thinking Cactus Jack, which is why I liked Dusty being willing to put him over, because it's like we could have Cactus beat Dusty as is like the stepping stone to Dustin or whatever. Like, I like that. Um, or he could pit him in that tag match, I guess. So then you would do, like, Dustin Cactus at Super Brawl. And then, honestly, I think at Spring Stampede, we have him drop it back to Sting, if we're being completely honest. And then from there, the rest of the year is basically, like, Sting versus Vader. Which is a thing we have completely held off on this whole time. We have just never booked Sting and Vader against each other. Um... So th I think that's probably the plan. Um, I mean, not literally the whole rest of the year, because that would be like six pay-per-views. But like, maybe maybe Dustin retains a Spring Stampede, although I kind of feel like the sooner we get the belt back on Sting, is the better, honestly. And then, because then we could do like a three-match. We could do like Bash, Beach Blast, Hi uh, Havoc, all Sting and Vader. Like, that could be a three-match thing blow it off at Havoc. I think that would be cool. Uh, also, Vader and Sting is just, that was what they did in 1993 for real. It worked. I think it would, it'll would work great here where they're, like, actually over. Uh, so I think that is mostly our plan. Is there a March Clash? 
so a lot of these clashes are dormant and I think they're just going to pop up when they become active again, which I, I don't, I don't like, I don't like that. Uh, we just had 21, right? So when, where's 22 on here? Uh, I don't, I don't see 22 anywhere. I see 23 or was 22 the one that just happened? I don't remember. No, 22 just happened. So 23, or is about to happen. What's the deal with 23? Yeah, it will automatically be revived in May 93. So that would be between Stampede and Bash. So there's not a Bash for a while, or a Clash rather, excuse me. Oh yeah, you know, uh, Mustache Dance, here's the thing. I don't know if Mustache Dan Severn is right, quite ready for the world title. I mean, maybe when Big Van Vader wins that title, maybe Dan Severn gets the charge for it uh, there, don't you know? Uh, but maybe until that time, Dan Severn can mess around with, like, the U.S. title. Although, that said, Stan Hansen is currently the champion there, bud. And, uh, you know, Stan Hansen, uh, you know, they're both baby faces. Uh, right now, Dan Severn kind of got pulled into this uh, Tully and Rick Rude thing. Which I think uh, will be good for him. Uh, so yeah, we got tag titles again. We're gonna do the six man. Vader, Tully, and Awesome. Do we do we do a third Bam Bam and Simmons match? Do we do we just keep that going? I mean, they all they all do for a blow off. Cause Ron beat him at Fall Brawl, and then he won at Stockade, so I guess we're blowing it off at Clash, which is fine. Actually, actually, hold on, let me hold on, hold on, one second, one second. Okay, we're back. Uh, so, yeah, I think we can blow off Bam Bam. Bigelow versus Simmons. Blow off. When Ted debuting? Ted will be de debuting about the same time as Kurt Hennig. Although, I mean, we could book him in a match here at The Clash. Uh, so the plan, I mean, listen, I'll just tell you, the plan for Ted is to wrestle Ricky Steamboat for the TV title at, uh, Super Bowl. So maybe we could do something here. It sucks so bad that Liger has, like, no chemistry with Steamboat and they can't have a tag match. Because this would be a perfect thing to do as, like, uh... Like, so-and-so and a mystery partner versus Ricky and Liger. And then the mystery partner said DiBiase. Like, that would be perfect for this. Um, but if we're not doing that, I think we're probably just doing Steamboat. Steamboat defending the TV title, honestly, is probably what we're doing. Yeah, seven days. They're both coming in in a week. Uh... You know, let's do this. Let's give him Koloff. Because we're not doing shit with Koloff. And that's just like a good... Hey, this guy's here. We could, like, do vignettes of, like, coming soon, Ted DiBiase, you know? Then we'll give him his... He'll debut and beat Koloff. I'm fine with that. 
And then, so he'll be the guy that it's like, oh, we're hyping his debut. And then Hennig will be the surprise. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six matches. Uh, we probably only need one more for a clash because I think clashes are only like two or two and a half hours or whatever. Um, we have nothing with Steamboat and Liger, which sucks. I have not done Steamboat and Sabu in a 101 match. Sounds sick to me. Let's do it. Steamboat versus Sabu. TV title. That is the base for our clash card. We might add another match, but we'll we'll you know we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out when it comes to it. Uh, all right. I guess we'll do Saturday night, and then we'll uh, that'll probably be the stream. Hello, Billy Kidman. Thank you for signing this contract. Uh, have fun in developmental. <laughs> Bro, are you serious? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Billy Kidman, you do not have the pull to be like, no, I'm not going to developmental. That's nuts. Uh, hey, Mike Barton. Uh, I know we've been putting you on TV a lot and stuff. Uh, hasn't really been going great. Uh, you want to go to developmental? Um, yeah, I don't really care either. All right. House show, Midwest, almost a thousand people. Wayne, he was going by Wayne Shamrock, huh? Weird. Pro wrestling Fujiwara Gumi is a Japanese wrestling organization that focuses on the shoot style. Formed by Yoshiaki Fujiwara, Asukatsu Funaki, and Minoru Suzuki after the original Japanese UWF folded. Huh. Ooh, Maeda's got some stats, huh? Yeah, that checks out. Oh, Dan's over there too. Oh boy, okay, all right. We're we're kind of uh, I think we got Jerry Flynn over here. We're we're kind of picking some guys from this promotion, you know. The, this picture of Suzuki. Drives me crazy because it is not. This is like a picture from 2008. <laughs> Why is this his photo for 1992? Drives me nuts. Got Takata. Takata also got some stats. Oh, he's. Oh, wait. Why is Takata over in America? Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? Does anyone know why Nobuhiko Takata is over in America in 1992? Oh, he's not active in America. Well, I'm sure we could just ask him, but... 
I'm not. I don't need this deal to Kata. I was just interested in how much money he wanted. All right, they they really love that we run the Omni, but you know we were just in uh, Mid South. Let's go. Let's go back. You know, let's let's or like let's stay there. I guess. Also, let's not run the Astrodome again. Uh, what is my original sixteen? We're going to run the summit. I think. Let me see. What else do we have? San Antonio, Texas. Eh. Let's do the summit. All right, I mean, we got to start. You got to start with the new WCW champion, Dustin Rhodes, right? Dustin Rhodes, Dusty Rhodes, Jesse Ventura, and they're just... Oh, they're loving life. We told y'all. We told you all that Dustin was going to win the WCW title. He's the youngest champion in history. That idiot Sting. He never had a chance, etc., etc. And then Sting is going to come out. He is going to talk about how... Um, You know, I, you, you gave up. Everyone heard you give up. The entire Astrodome heard you give up. I don't care that you had the ropes. If you gave up, you're a quitter and you shouldn't be the WCW champion. You won that title on a technicality, etc., etc. Uh, they're going to go back and forth. And they're going to set up a match tonight between Sting and Sabu. Nightmares, Sting, opening promo to set up match versus Sabu. What a match. Uh, I'm going to give them a 12-minute open match. And I'm going to have Sting win... By disqualification when he gets attacked. By Dustin and Dusty. And we're going to do an angle after that. Where Sabu and Sting and Dustin, Dusty, basically they're all beating up Sting. Cactus Jack's gonna run out and save him with like a chair or whatever. And uh, I, Dustin and Dusty would probably bail, and then Sabu would take the chair shot, and it would probably be an unprotected chair shot because it's 1992. <laughs> but uh, look at this, like, yeah, look at this for like four minutes. I'm just gonna do everybody on fighting. Cactus saves the stinger from nightmares beat down. Oh, you know what? I just realized something for that clash card we made. I did not give Stan Hansen a match, did I? That seems like that seems like an oversight.
What, uh, what heals do we have who are just hanging around? Not many. Bro, bro, you know what we should do, bro? We got that all Japan alliance, bro. We should do like Hansen versus Masawa or some shit. Hell yeah, dude. Hansen versus AJPW wrestler. I'll put question marks. That's another one. Just book that for me. Just put that for me. That'll be fun. So let's give him an interview. Or Stan. Uh, is basically just going to cut a promo. Talking about how he is the US champion now. And this might be the United States title, but he's willing to take on wrestlers from all around the world. He'll, he'll defend this title against anybody and everybody. Stan Hansen is going to defend the U.S. title against all comers. And we're also going to do an angle for Big Van Vader is flipping tables he is backstage and he is losing his mind he's just you know where's shamrock where where is he he cost me my title and uh you know teddy long is trying to like calm him down it's not working this is this is like a three minute thing which is like oh we heard there's a commotion in the back Vader is looking for Shamrock. Flipping tables. Uh, we're just going to give Tully a match. Oh, now that we're not doing the band versus the country as like a real feud, I can, I can, fuck, fuck PN News, who cares? <laughs> Tully can beat PN News in eight minutes, that's fine. Then he's going to do an angle afterwards. Where Tully is going to be there with Mike Awesome. Actually, let's just do, do him and Paulie, and let's send Eric Bischoff out there afterwards. He's basically going to be like, Tully, uh, Paulie, last night, you, we were all shocked at what we saw. Uh, the two of you took out Rick Rude. A uh, long-time uh, partner of your guys, what was that all about? And Tully's going to be like, you know, Rude thought he was better than me, and you can't have that in the team, so I had to take him down a peg. That Rick Rude, he's, you know, he thinks he's better than me. Oh, he's been a world champion. whoop de friggin do All right? I, I, has he been a world champion? I don't, he's, <laughs> he's been a champion all over the world. Doesn't impress me. Don't care. And then Paulie's going to be like, you know, that Rick Rude, his ego's out of control. We had to take him down a step. And then, uh, do I want Rude to come out here? No, let's just have them cut a promo. Oh, here's what we'll do. We will do, hmm, let me think. Let me think, let me think. Because we're doing Shamrock Severin, Rude, against Vader, Tully, and Awesome. Okay. Let's put Mike Awesome out here, too. You know, 
Uh, you know, we're, and we're not done teaching Rick Rude a lesson. So, Rick Rude, you better find some backup because the, the Dangerous Alliance isn't done with you. That kind of thing. Oh, and just, you know, to advance the storyline here. Fuck, fuck Dan, too. <laughs> we don't like him either. Dangerous Alliance. Couldn't trust Rude anymore. All right. I need to do something that's going to be a storytelling match. So I think I'm going to do like 3v3, big surprise. And we're going to do like Rick Steiner, Scott Steiner, and Ron Simmons against Bam Bam. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's the, that's the wrong third person. Bam Bam should be on this side. And then it should be Ron Simmons, Steve Austin, and Brian Pillman. This is actually probably better than the Sting match, but I like the angle at the end. Also, we're going to give these guys storytelling, so they're not going to go like crazy bananas. I'll give them time, though. I'll give them like 14. 14, and Pillman is going to win. He's going to get a tainted victory. Do it like that. That will get them back on the board here. It'll also give Simmons a win over at Bigelow. Re really, all three of these guys need this win, so that that'll be good for them. Got like twenty more minutes. Um, we should probably hear from. The new television champion, Ricky Steamboat. Um, actually, let's just have him. Well, yes, let's do. Let's have him talk. Fuck it. Steamboat. We'll put Liger out there too. Basically, it's just gonna be. Boy, what a great match we had! It was really an honor. Uh, maybe we'll do it again someday. Great. This sucks. Uh, Steamboat and Liger. Uh, fuck it. Let's just let's just show highlights. Let's just show highlights. Overness. Overness. Off screen. Off screen. That's how we'll do this. Three minutes. Highlights from the no time limit. TV title match at Starcade. And then, you know, if we're going to have this man doing the job to Ted, then we got to heat him up a little bit. So let's give Koloff a win. You know what? We're in a new area. Who do we got local? This is everybody? This is everybody. Oh, it's the Booker man, y'all. Actually, Booker's stats could be okay. Uh, damn, Cassandra's already out doing stuff. I mean, it's one of those things that when you think about it for five seconds, you're like, oh, yeah, their age, that makes sense. But I don't know. I don't think of Cassandra from being from this era. 
Boy, Eric Watts. Boy. <laughs> Woof. I was going to say, like, Kevin Von Erich should be super over in the Mid-South. And Kevin Von Erich still wrestles. Interesting. I mean, I guess he's only 35. I mean, that, that checks out. Damn, I should book Kevin Von Erich for the show. Because, <laughs> like, he's over in the Mid-South. And that's where we are. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, obviously you're going to be a face... This is not what I was really looking for. Uh, I think I will I will go with Booker T for the thing I was looking for. Okay. You're going to be a heel. I, like, totally forgot what I was even doing. I was looking for some heel to lose to a baby face, but now I got nothing. Uh... Oh, the Koloff match. That's, that's what it was. It was the Koloff match. Key to Koloff. Booker T. Six minutes. Koloff can win. Obviously. And we have... we got about 10 more minutes. What is Kevin good at? Ah, eh, not a lot. Psychology, and that's about it. I thought maybe he could have, like, a good wild brawl with somebody. I get the rub ski to somebody. It's gotta be a heel. Um... He can wriggle. He can wriggle over Kevin Von Erich. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Steve Regal over Kevin Von Erich. Sure, man. That sounds good to me. Uh, let's do Tainted. That's his thing now. What's up? Oh, I didn't set that six man to be storytelling? That was the whole reason I booked it. What am I doing? Alright, Sting versus Sabu. It's definitely the main. That we're doing. Do we just go right into Kevin Von Eric for Steve Regal? That is such... That's so, like, insane. Um... I mean, what else would we what else would we open with? Koloff and Booker? I mean this definitely has to go like way up. This has to go like here. Where, where is that? That's supposed to go right after the Tully thing. All right, that's the show. Um, 
84? No idea. This is kind of a weird show. I mean, great start. As good of a start as you can get. So that's good. Holy smokes, we got an 81 for Regal and Kevin Von Eric. I did not see that coming for a cold match. Kevin Von Eric was rusty, but other than that, no one ca That was all right. Cool, man. Seventy for just hey man, here's some highlights from a cool match. Sixty-three for Koloff and Booker. That's fine. It was a squash. Just trying to get Nikita some momentum so we can put Ted DiBiase over. That's really all this was. Sixty-nine. Uh, I guess we didn't give him a lot of time here. I mean, it was just him flipping tables and yelling, so that checks out. 65. Again, fine. The real juice here is the promo. Uh, 76 for this match. Oh, Steve Austin broke his fingers. I don't think that'll be a serious injury, but it's still a bummer. Yes, thank you, Mike Graham. Stan got an 80 on the promo. I'll take that. Woo! Brother! <laughs> this is almost as good as the pay-per-view match. Now, what's going on here? Holy smokes. Sting and Sabu went nutty. Sabu was penalized for inconsistency, even. Yeah, because he only got a 68 here. He's been getting 70s, but damn, still a great match. And then Cactus came out and saved him. This went way better than I thought it was going to. I was a little worried about the Sting versus Sabu main event, but I should not have been. 87. Great show. Great run of shows here. Things are looking up for WCW headed into 1993. <laughs> Mike Barton says that he can't... No. I just sent you there. Uh, so who can't sell? Tully... The... the the rocket pack is out, brother. Oh, yeah. Let's check on Steve's fingies. Six days. He's fine. He's fine. All right. Well, that's going to do it there. I don't feel like booking a main event. Plus, listen. The, the year changing over will give us a hook for the next episode. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it. We will be back on Thursday with AEW. We are now on the road to Double or Nothing. We have a, a new world's champion in AEW, which was not the plan, but here we are. And then uh, here on WCW next week. Honestly, Clash 22 is not that far away. So we're, we're, we're kind of right into an another event here. So uh, yeah, we got that. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube... Thanks. Appreciate it. Drop a like, drop a comment. Uh, maybe hit the subscribe button. You know, YouTube things. Uh, that's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys on Thursday. And if not, then next week. Later.